Gov Ireland viewers, what is going on? We are finally back. Here is the glorious Fibra Lewis station that I now take to Daily Man Park. Now take, I've only been here once since the Lewis was put in action. I've come out the wrong side. I am meant to be down there, but we'll have a look. Anyway, so basically today Bowes take on Finn Harps and I have indeed come out the right side, not the wrong side. Get it, anyway. Today Bowes take on Finn Harps, Daily Man Park for a pre-season friendly. It is so good to be back. I was at a Q&A last night with Keith Long, Dan Casey, Keith Buckley and Ian Morris, which was absolutely fantastic. Daily Man just up ahead. I can't wait. Come on, Bose. Less than 45 minutes to kick off here at Damon Park for the first game in 2018. Look at this glorious stadium. Hardly any fans inside. Literally none apart from, I could literally count them on two fingers and I do ordinary math. It's really quite difficult. Bose played Finn Harp today. I'm not sure what the lineup is yet. Twitter hasn't announced it and neither the Finn Harp fan. I'm really looking forward to this game. Hopefully both will get the first win of pre-season after drawing one all with Shells and losing two on to draw. Both teams are ready to go for the first game of the season. Both teams are in the way for Finn Arps in yellow and blue and Bows in white and black. Finn Arps do wear blue and white and as a famous philosopher once said, the sky is blue and white for a reason, that's because God supports Finn Arps. First few minutes got, gone here at Daily Man Park and not of a lot of, well nothing has actually happened once again. I seem to be saying that a lot. Um, Finn Harps are in a really nice yellow and blue kit. I really like for some reason. I don't know why, it's just a really nice kit. But also wearing their old away kit for some strange reason as well. No idea why that is either, but uh, me, Kelly, me and Kelly and guess we're too poor that we didn't that don't have any stock in and we don't have any stock in for the home jersey either. Uh, some of, like I don't want to say some Romania fella, but that, that kind of racist, but that's where who he is, some Romania fella. Uh, Ma Christian Magerson is up front number 17. Uh, Keith Long was saying he's a He's a decent striker last night, he was at the Q&A, decent striker. Just looking forward to see how he performs. <laughs> There's Wayne Lee Dad, what's up? Hey, what's up, lovely? <laughs> great to have the old gang back, great to be at, back at Daily Man. Beautiful skill from Captain, fantastic. Unfortunately, he doesn't carry on with this his beautiful skill and lose the ball. Here he is again, oh, lovely chest control. It wasn't really, but it's great to be back here and I'm really excited. Oh, what a daily one park this season, get in! What a terrible free kick, I thought it was pretty crap, but we still score in it. And these guys are fucking loving yeah. it! Oh, yeah. one nil up, both, yes! Billy Gannon, he scored it last time against Finn Harps, I'm pretty sure, and he scored it again, that's two games in a row. Here at Dayman Cox, Billy Gannon has scored, and against the same opponents. Not great defending by Finn Harp. Scored from a corner, it is 2 0. People are getting a bit excited, and this guy already thinks we're going to win the league, and it's only a friendly against Finn Harp. So we're relegated last season, and we beat here at Dayman Park twice, although we lost twice to them in the cup, even though we really. <laughs> Even though we really didn't deserve it. Apparently I'm wearing jeans as well. That is wrong. I'm only wearing jeans. Anyway, from this end we couldn't really score. We we couldn't really score I see who scored. It was all we know is it was from a corner and a header. We'll get back to you with who scored. These lads want my cap, they're not going to get it because I really like this cap. Goal scorers, no thanks to the Twitter that kind of bohemians because they don't really tweet during the game. I love this club but they need to, you know, get up to date with all everything social media. Uh, some random Finn Harps fan that I follow on Twitter, I think he's the historian, tweeted it and it was an on goal. Um, that doesn't really show brightly for Finn Harp. Both Gannon and, and the Romanian wizard could not find a, a decent strike on the ball and Finn Harps get away. But now, oh, Magnuson with a lovely flick on out the wide. That's what we can do with here. The mighty Paddy Kavna. Go on, Kavna. Oh, oh, he's in. Give it. Oh, come on, go for it. Jesus, he just stopped. Bows out at it again with the mighty Philly Gavin who's playing really well tonight. Go on. Lovely one two. A referee! Free kick on the edge of the area. No, no. I think they I think they're not for better than they had they did the whole of last season in this, in this game. They're passing the ball around a lot much, much better. Maybe it's just a spot of players who actually want to be there instead of people who just want to play Premier Division football. I don't really know. Oh, oh by the way, if anyone follows Finn Herbs on Twitter or any form of social media, their cameraman is crap. I am a better cameraman than him. 
Killian is the best cameraman in, in the League of Ireland. Well, that cameraman is shy. Finn Harms. If you're looking for a cameraman, he is your man. Um, only one video went wrong this season, and Martin filmed that. So, here, if you guys are looking for a cameraman, Killian is your guy. Christian Magnussen was in. He was in on goal. I say he slipped. But also, everyone else would say he shined it over the bar, and it was a terrible, terrible job. Maybe it's just my belief in a Romanian who has seen play for both for less than a, a half of football. But I still love the guy, and he'll get on my support throughout the season. Back underway for the second half. No changes have been made, and if they have, they have not been announced. It looks like it's the same team. Oh, there's Magnussen. Terrible header away. Oh, and Magnussen is floored. Uh, I don't know if he's going to give a free kick or he's just going to play a hot ball. But Magnussen is floored and the physicals are on. Two quick fire shots from both. Ball headed in. Oh, gives away. so close. Both have two great chances there to make it 3-0. And really put the game to bed. But we couldn't finish off. Oh, it was a great save by the keeper second time around. We are, and they actually, actually, that was the first great chance of this half. We're still playing quite well. We look, we're on top. We know we know we're on top. We know that we're the better side. Not a lot has been from Christian Magnus in this half. And um, Philly Gallon is playing out of his skin. I think he played really well. Remember the dark away game uh, towards the end. Remember, remember the dark game like ten seconds of last game. Too. Hey, fucking class. And he's playing great here again. Hopefully, he continue this form into the big driver game with Rovers in two weeks' time. But Finnaps on the attack. Oh no. Oh yes. He definitely thought he was going to give a penalty. It would have been the, basically our season last year. He's long about to make a couple of couple of changes um, right now. It looks like three or four changes. And um, get going to give the players, uh, the players that are out there, a rest and give the players that are coming on a bit more game time before the season kicks in. Uh, but still two 0 up. Uh, last chance we had with those double chances and Finn Harps. Finn Harps haven't really come close yet. Um, well, that doesn't surprise me. It is Finn Harps. No joke. The whole team. Has been changed. Oh, there's Wardy. Go on, Wardy! Um, I have no idea. I can't listen to you all, 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 all these changes at once because that is just too much vocabulary for me at once. Basically, both have made 11 changes and it'll be a new team now. Kirk with some lovely skill there to get to jinx past a couple of the, the players players and toe pokes it wide just beyond the post. Balls on the attack. Cross it in now. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. How the fuck is that on a corner? Oh my god! The keeper brought it out over the line! Jesus Christ! Basically the crossing, keeper had it full hand, swings himself over the line, and it's a goal kick. Uh, maybe maybe the fact is true that God really is on the hard side. Not a lot has happened in the second half. Basically, um, basically changes have happened, like teams which are making consistent subs after subs after subs. Uh, Kenyon is just putting on a Northern Irish accent because we were talking about one, one guy was on about how um, Johnny, Go uh, Johnny, Johnny Goals Finn Harps yes Johnny Goals Finn Harps in a different county and quite a long way away from each other or Belfast number two which I thought was stupid and there he is waving his yes, hand in there like an Belfast, idiot Belfast number two see what Belfast, I mean absolute Belfast, idiot I apologise to the prophet number two. for this um, intrusion on your life that he's calling to my channel um, um, Finn Harps, Belfast number two. But Keith Ward's in, squares it. Yes, no. Damn, over the bar. Should have been three 0 Should have been game over. No boy, Cochrane. Back to that idiotic guy that called him Finn Harps, Belfast number two. Absolute idiot. And that's what Kenny was doing the accents in the Northern. Irish League just mentioning all the teams like like Tony Gold is nowhere near and uh, Antrim because I'm really sure Antrim is a Belfast I don't really know don't like hold me to that but like Buddy Buffet and Belfast are like miles away from me trust me I've done the journey in a day and it still takes fucking forever to get there all time here at Day Young Park a solid 2-0 win for Bohemians against Finn Harps second half kind of died out a bit with not, not a lot happening except for a lot of subs and that wardy chance that was offside great to be back at day and for the first time in a long long time absolutely ball is so tired we got both those goals because it's such a long time since I said but it, the ball's gone in fact 
but our last two wins have come against Finn Harps, and we scored five. Uh, we scored five goals in the last two games against Harps. We had one first one of pre-season. We drew one against Shells, lost to Jada, and we won here tonight. Roll on the 16th of February, massive game against Shamrock Rovers in the first day of the season. We still have two more pre-seasons coming up against Longford in the AUL on the 23rd, which is this coming Tuesday. And another pre-season against Galway next Friday on the 9th, which I will not be attending because I have an exam. Unless I can get the exam brought home with me and there is some way I can get up to Galway. Guys, as always, give the video a like, share it around on social media and... We'll see you in two weeks' time for the Dublin Derby.